got this Audi A3. Not in the good pants. Get that looking sexy. Kabooya. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second episode. This will be a two-part uh, episode, I guess. One focusing on purely photos, which is this one, and the second one being the videos. Just a quick thing before we jump in, there's not a lot of driving footage as the chest mount, and I didn't have a head mount. Um, so the shots are very low, but we have a zero to 100 to see how quick it is. And yeah, if you guys uh, like it and want me to continue, just like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, let's jump straight into it. It's a beautiful afternoon in our area. We've got this Audi A3. And we're gonna go take some nice golden hour photos. I don't know how windy this is gonna be. Uh, do you want this up? Put the windows up? Ah, should have brought me sun sunnies. Uh, let's go. Let's have a quick look at that. I might get you to jump in and guide the car. Yeah, we're pretty, we got pretty far off the road, but I think this is a good spot for a, a bit of a shoot and then we can move on. Um, yeah, so we got sun there and everything. It's coming back. Very nice car. We got a nice good shot here. Beautiful. Beautiful car there. Should have stayed for our photo shoot. <laughs> Even up there, there's a bit of a grass patch as well, so we'll get some shots there, but we'll stop it here. We're pretty far off the road, so worst case, we should be fine. Um, and yeah, let's, let's get into it. Okay, so we're using the main, lens for today is a 24 to 70 sigma r 2.8 we have a 35 mil 1.4 and a 15 mil 1.2 we won't need both of those for the shoots depending on who you talk to some people like prime lenses some people don't mind the zoom it really depends on the sharpness depending on what it is if this was going on a billboard yeah maybe use a prime lens but if it's just going for a for car sales and social media and some small advertisements, maybe a TV, you know, it would be fine. Um, I've got a CPL. I don't use NDs for photos. I need to get an ND for, there's a car coming. I need to get an ND for my videos, but at the moment, it's okay. We got the Sony A7R4. Um, best thing about a convertible, look at that, straight in, wasn't there. Um, so yeah, we got the Sony A7R4, I was filming some videos, just chuck it in manual mode, 24 to 70, Oop. I don't want to shoot in JPEG, shoot raw, always shoot raw, it's always better, you can shoot raw on JPEG depending on that. There we go. I don't like that screen. My screen, my favorite screen is actually the leveling screen. Did some real estate, so go back to that. All right, so 2.8, depending on what you want to go. Personally, I just stick between F4 and 2.8, depending on the subject, depending on the client. If it's for a car dealership, you want the whole car in focus, so you can go even go as high as F8. Um, with zoom, you know, that gives a nice uh, depth of field, so keeping a lower f-stop also doesn't hurt. So since we're shooting directly into a sunlight, we have reflections coming off the car and the lake itself. I'm going to put it in my eyepiece for a sec so I can actually see a bit better. There we go, so we got good reflections there. So I always expose for my highlights, and I will always shoot a little darker. This camera, being a you know sony alpha camera i have worked wonders with this camera in the low light conditions it is just absolutely amazing i also use the cpl for the sky 
using as it on the sky helps uh, cut down a bit of the glare if you're not in direct sunlight but a little bit off you can bring back some of the color of blue using a circular polarizing filter it just helps hopefully there's no snakes again but it just it kind of helps not you know cut down some of the highlights in the car without losing the blue sky so it's a bit hard to see obviously for you guys but for me it's a lot easier you can get some really nice shots it's not focusing on the car it's focusing on the plants in front of it little bugs flying around so beautiful conditions right now um same again with the rx7 we're not going to go too crazy with this shoot because this is just showing you how much time you have before the sun will dip i like this spot it gives it a very nice country vibe we're not going too crazy with this as the client doesn't care too much um they just want some photos so it makes my job easier instructions country photos sunset convertible those are the instructions i got and uh, so this is what i've got so i got emily over here getting them angles look at you get it we'll take a quick photo of you smile beautiful <laughs> quiet here i like it there's a bit of pink that my partner is at and she's using that i think to add a bit of depth of field to her shots so after she's finished it, I'm going to jump in that and add some color into this because it's, as you can see, it's very golden, blue, yellow, black. There's not a lot of color in these shots, but they do look absolutely uh, amazing. So we'll change the circular. I'm not sure if you can see, but on the camera here, you see how the sky is dark and then it comes brighter again. I want the sky a little dark so then I can make the car a bit brighter doing that since it's a black car and we got you know this light i don't want to obviously have the sky too bright car too dark i try to use the cpl to even everything out and um again i'm not sure if you can see but the sky's super dark there so if i you know make it brighter everything's brighter the car's brighter the tree's brighter and the sky's brighter but if i move it the sky's it's too overexposed so i like that a little darker because i'm hand holding this i don't want a small shutter i need to wait for that car to go so he's not my shot i'm gonna up the iso a little bit on my subject full zoom in 2.8 shot booyah we're walking back up to that spot where my partner was Wait for this car to go by. Probably thinking, what the hell are they doing? Oh, yep, there's the spikes. Look at those. Look at those spikes, okay. Oh, shit, it's like a thorn bush. There's proper thorns everywhere. She was not joking. You were not joking. Thorns are everywhere. Ow. Look at this. Not in the good pants. <laughs> I'm stuck. How that even? Things just wrong to wear. Got me there. Should be right. Anything for the shot. Oh, I can't even see my damn screen. To a degree. See what that looks like. Maybe. Ah, I need. I want to get more in there. But it keeps hooking on my pants. I probably went the worst way to do this as well. It doesn't help. I shouldn't have wore white shoes. White Yeezys of, of everything I wore. That's what I wore. It's weird how there's no thorns on this, on this plant. I don't even know what flowers these are. But nice cherry blossom effect there, I guess. Okay, so... Again with the CPL, I want to take a bit of light out of the sky, move the tree to my liking, get that looking sexy. Kabooya, I like that a lot. Bit more with the 
Oh, that's a good shot. I'm sorry, you guys can't see the screen. All right. I like those shots a lot, actually. Inside isn't the best. It's a little dirty, but it's quite clean still. Is I want to get a nice... What would this look like? I'm going to do a few of these. So this is being exposing kind of for the sun. Then we'll make it a little brighter, a little bit of a zoom. You know, the sun looks really nice there with the peak. Um, we're losing it quick. We're losing it very quick. Like to the point where we probably got like a good five minutes left on these shots. So look at our run. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hop in for me and just quickly swing it straight out like we're going to turn it and go off that way so i want you to bring it so the nose is facing me so i can get the sun the front of the car with the lights on it'll look really good we should get it before we run out of time that's it stop there crouch down <laughs> so we'll get this shot we'll take a few of them just in case those lights and then we'll get We'll get this shot here. I uh, hate the flicker, but let's quickly check. I gotta check to make sure those lights are good. They're not the best. I'm gonna need to try to do one thing quickly. You're all right, you're all right. I just gotta quickly try turn the lights off. There we go, so we have just those. That looks a lot better. There we go, that's nice. Oh, look at that, that is up. Audi, if you wanna do some work together for your new e-trons, you know where to find me. All right, come forward a bit for me. I want more of a bit of an angle. So turn that way for me to the left. Oh, you all right, keep coming. There we go, hold that for me, duck down. Same thing, there's no thorns in this bush at least. We'll get down low. Oh, that looks beautiful. I really like that. And a low exposure. These low exposures are really nice lighting. And then obviously the high exposures are more exposed for the actual black car. So that's why sometimes it can be a bit difficult shooting depending on the car. I expose for the highlights, but that gets to a point where the highlights are too dark. Okay. Now going directly in the middle of these two lanes, facing straight. This is what I call leading lines, composition shots. So I keep going. Straighten yourself up, more this side, turn to the right. So this is what this shot will look like. A little darker than how I would have it. Just for that sky exposure. So now that since the sun is dipped, this is technically, I think blue hour now. So we're gonna have to run. A lot of this job's running. That's it, beautiful. That's a good shot. I like that shot. We'll expose. Bob! Lucky I can hear him. All right. We got that nice, this is my rule. Third shot, shot off the lake, the car, the sky. It just, it looks so beautiful right now. The sky looks beautiful. I just want to get a nice Audi shot here. That looks nice. I like that. Okay. Almost done. I'll drive past. That's all right. Leave that. Good reflection on the car there. Close up to the TFI. TFSI. Get this shot here. And then... How will that look? Sorry, um, can I get you to duck for me? Uh, if you There we go, that looks nice there. We'll take that shot. And there we go. Photos are done for it. Nice and easy. Quick shoot. You know, good shoot. And we can, uh, you know, get a nice wheel shot. Well, the sunset's basically finished. So we're entering to 
a nice soft light into, you know, that's where I can get a wheel shot here. The CPL moves it very lightly. Boom. Um, yeah, but they didn't want too many photos, so I'm, I'm not going to overshoot and go crazy. Um, so yeah, that's that was the shoot. <laughs> so I might chuck on, before we run out of time, I'm just going to chuck on the gimbal and we're going to do a few quick cinematics and we should be good. I shoot. It's nice, quiet. They got loud, didn't they? So yeah, nice, quiet shoot. Um, we'll put the windows up a little bit just for the noise. I didn't even see that bin. Um, even with that tint, it looks nice. You look just... Sorry? You're just a black figure. Yeah, I know, it looks funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're heading back. That's really bright. You can show the video. Yeah, hey, good shots. Um, but yeah, so that was our shoot. Really nice shoot, real easy. Um, this one wasn't a major shoot. We'll bring you along. We have, I do a lot of video as well. So, um, you know, if you guys want to see some actual POV or some video shoots instead of just kind of like what was in this video, please just let me know. What car do you want to see? What do you, if you want to see more of this or are you trying to put that on like that? <laughs> um, is that better? Yeah. The lighting. It looks like I'm telling ghost stories. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see more, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, it was a quiet, quite a, ooh, that breeze. Feel that temperature difference? Wow, that temperature difference is, um, it's 24 degrees still. Um, but yeah, so yeah, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Please just let me know what car you want to see. If anyone wants to collab, I'm in Sydney, Australia. If you want to do a shoot, just let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching and to the next one. Peace. Okay.